This is Jedi Master Dave with a review of Star Wars The Old Republic. Right, so boys and girls, um, it's Dave with the review of SWATOR, which, uh, for those of you who don't speak an acronym, is Star, is Star Wars The Old Republic. It's uh, Bioware's MMO rendition of the popular Star Wars franchise. Um, not quite the first Star Wars MMO, but we don't talk about galaxies. <clears throat> Right, um, I was really excited about this game, um, but I tried to stay as far away as possible so I didn't overhype myself and get let down. I didn't manage to stay away, but it didn't matter. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really good. Sorry guys, I feel like I should review a game that I didn't like, but, you know. <laughs> okay, so, Bioware has done an awesome job with this title um, in lots of ways. Uh, first off, the game follows the pretty standard MMORPG format, and kind of while I'm loath to compare it, if you've ever played WoW, the interface and controls are very intuitive. In this respect though, there are certain times when WoW's polish highlights a problem with the old public. Whilst generally the game is very responsive and handles well, there are times when abilities activation and usage are tied to the character's animations. So whilst this makes the combat look great and fluid, it sometimes hinders the responsiveness between keyboard input and lightsaber strike. Um, but at the same time, there are also times when the inverse happens. I mean, like a channeled three strike ch ch combo can suffer from pushback and then the last attack won't happen. Which is kind of a small nagging problem, but it does tend to stick with you if you're using the same moves again and again. I've only generally found these problems in the melee-based classes, but hopefully kind of community feedback and reports will bring these things to Bioware's attention and can easily be fixed in future patches, I would have thought. On the whole, though, combat generally feels... cool, I guess. <laughs> Your Jedi or Sith reacts and deflects blaster bolts from different directions. Your smuggler and your agent can dynamically roll into cover. I'm not going to do that. Uh, mid combat, and your bounty hunters can use jetpack enhanced shoryuken. So, what's not to love? <laughs> Moving on to the role playing element, the uh, voice acted NPCs are definitely a step in the right direction, and I hope the industry takes note of it. It adds a personal touch to the characters and the story, which I haven't seen in kind of the bigger online titles until now. The result is an increased immersion in kind of both your own character and the worlds you visit. The speech system, which is um, Bioware's Mass Effect inspired baby, tends to work well and provide good amounts of choice and reactions for your character when faced with kind of different situations. There are times though when I found myself repeating lines, where do I fit in, being one of them, um, but it isn't hugely noticeable, it was only because I played loads of characters. And I managed to kind of reconcile it with myself as a sort of style of character's speech. So the way, same way people use like a set greeting or their own kind of quirky lines when talking to other people. Um, but the light side and the dark side thing, whilst cool, did become an issue for me. I found myself picking an option just because it had the points displayed next to it. So making these hidden would really kind of increase the role-playing factor and you'd be forced to think through your responses instead of blindly yeah i'll do that for 100 dark points so i can get a new relic i get that this would bug some people though who kind of want to min max their morality but that in itself does feel kind of like a broken system to me but i can understand when you don't want to make the wrong choice as well since there are certain situations where the moral action seems either kind of ambiguous or just downright wrong. I mean, there's a part where you have to purify the water to um, supply the camp dwellers with drinking water, but this would also cause monster attacks. Gee, uh, heat dehydration or savage to death by a giant lizard? I'm not really sure which one is good and which one's evil there. But, I mean, this doesn't happen often, but in such a generally well-developed storyline, times like this really do tend to stick out. But moving on to the PvP, um, it's fun, it's fast-paced, uh, you've got the kind of stat-boosting system that, so that fresh level 10s can compete with the level 50s, so long as they know how to play. <laughs> um, 
The best of these types is called Hubble, um, and it's a twist on a sort of single flare, single <laughs> capture the flag player mode. So you tactically throw the ball to a teammate, um, and that can be kind of intercepted or dropped if the pass is bad, which uh, encourages teamwork. So then you add in kind of flame jets and vats of acid, and you've got a pretty entertaining little game. So, onto the graphics front. It all seems pretty good at max settings. Um, the facial movements and actions and cutscenes and dialogue look good. Unfortunately, the customization suite was kind of disappointing. I found it difficult to make a human or cyborg character who looked normal. Um, the facial hair is kind of awful, which is a shame since I'm kind of a fan. It just seems to be a block of low coloured lines as far as I can tell. This is really kind of a shame since you do spend a lot of your time looking at your characters close up. But I suppose that's really the only gripe I have with the style um, and the graphics. So overall, I think I'd say that this is the droid, um, the game that you're looking for. Definitely if you're into the Star Wars IP, but I'd imagine it's worth a look regardless. It's definitely one of the most polished at launch MMOs I've played recently, and the personal story on its own is enough reason for RPGs or Knights fans to pick this up. So, thanks very much for tuning in guys. Um, just a quick ask regarding future reviews. If there are any games you'd like me to review, or ones you think I might enjoy, get in touch or post in the comment section down there somewhere. And if you want to know more about a game, feel free to post any questions, and I'd be more than happy to have a chat with you about it. So, thanks again, and... May the force be with you.